Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about this bread, Louis Vuitton. I don't have an extensive collection of luxury handbags, but Louis Vuitton is one which I have a few handbags from. If I were to go to the town, I would see quite a few people carrying Louis Vuitton handbag. I believe a lot of people first luxury handbag will start from Louis Vuitton because it's something very recognizable. Their canvas is so durable. Price-wise, it's generally on a more manageable side. Their canvas items are generally more well-priced and you know that this is a very durable kind of material. Scratch-proof, waterproof, a very good value for money Louis Vuitton item. In today's video, I will go through with you some of the items that I have collected over these years, the wear and tear of them and how have I been liking them or not. The first Louis Vuitton item that I ever owned is in this dust bag. This dust bag does look pretty different from the other dust bags that I have. It was a gift from my brother to my mother and she didn't quite like it. Let's open up and tell you why is it so. Because it's a very tiny handbag. I have no idea the name of this handbag because I only have the dust bag and the receipt seems to be lost. If this is an epi leather, brown color, very beautiful. And I'm pretty sure I have this for 20 years. Yes, it has been so long and it's in excellent condition. This is why I'm quite drawn to epi leather because of how durable this is. It's very scratch resistant. Epi leather, there's no scratches on this item here. There's a small LV logo right here. And it's just a pouch kind of handbag. The sides are all like just sewed together. There's no depth in this handbag. On the front, it looks like there's two pieces of leather. There's a piece of leather here and a piece of leather here and it's stitched in the middle. At the side, stitched together. This is a very simple design handbag. As you can see, it's a short strap right here. Goes over the shoulder quite easily. Very little hardware. There's this hardware that connects the strap with the bag, which says Louis Vuitton right here. You can see. Yes. And the side is all like two pieces of leather and it's just sewn together. It's a very simple bag and as you can see right in the middle here, that's puffed up. So it's flat here, puffed up and on the top it's flat again. On the top there is a magnetic closure. On the inside is microfiber lining. I'm not too sure if you can see. I have it for 20 years. It was way before I started my luxury journey. 20 years ago, small bags like this is not very in. It doesn't have a lot of depth. It doesn't fit a lot of things. Middle is a little bit puffed up, so there is some space in here for you to put your things. Because the capacity is really limited, so I have been using it only for evening nights out. Now that small bags are in fashion, I, I should be using this more often. It's a very, very unique bag, which I haven't seen much people using this. For 20 years back, I must say this is in an excellent condition. It doesn't fit a ton, like I say, because it's very flat here. But let me just show you what it can fit. This is a large phone. If you have the biggest iPhone for the moment, it fits in comfortably as well. So it's not that small in today's context. Key clay, yes, it fits in. I have a lip balm, lipstick fits in comfortably and I have no issue with the magnetic closure. It still fits in quite a bit more. If I want, as you can see, if I want to fit in more things, it's possible. So in today's context, when all the mini bags are in trend, actually this is not so mini, but 20 years ago when the bigger bags are in trend, this is really a mini bag. Next bag is a bag that I have gotten 
about one to two years after I started working. This is where I started my luxury journey. Of course, after I bought this bag, I've used this to death and I have not gotten the next bag until a few years later. So my first bag is actually a Speedy. This is also discontinued already. This is the Mini Lin Speedy 30. I've used this a ton and I can tell you it looks amazing despite me using a ton. I use this as an everyday bag that I bring to work for a couple of years because it's my only luxury handbag. I bought this in 2008, a couple of years after I started working. This is a 10 over years bag. It's in semi-retirement mode. Once a while, I will still pull this out to use because it's a very easy bag to use. Although this linen, I must say it held up extremely well. There's no peeling, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Definitely, I have used this a ton. There are wear and tear on this bag. Let me just show you some of the wear and tear. So this part here, as you can see, that is it's worn out compared to the one at the bottom. It's not so worn out. So it's strangely, the corner wear are heavier than the bottom wear. And like the edge, the edges of the leather parts, it is um, curling up a little and also um, worn out a bit as well. This is not the bandolier version. The bandolier version only came out probably a couple of years later after I have gotten this. And I must say, I was a little bit upset with myself for not getting the bandolier version, but I have already used this a lot over the years. I probably would have loved it a lot more if it's the bandolier version because I like shoulder bags more than just a hand carry. This is quite a short strap. It's okay to carry like this. It's okay to carry like this. There's a lot of space. I can't get it past my arm. It's a wonderful bag. It gives me so much joy using this. I just took out the base shaper and uh, the base shaper does help to keep its shape a bit on the bottom so that I don't have a saggy bottom. Let's take a look inside. On the inside, it's all cloth material as well. There is a D-ring right here. I didn't use it to hook on anything all this while that I've been using. It's a big space right inside, black hole, but it's only a size 30. It's really quite easy to fish out my things. I don't put a ton of things inside. So on the inside, there is a non-zipper slip pocket. I can put my key clay in there comfortably. Yep, that fits in. I believe a lot of people have the canvas version. It's very, very light. So is this. This is so light. It's like almost nothing. So let me just show you. So this bag fits inside with lots of room to spare. I'm not too sure you can see, but there's lots of room to spare. So I can fit a cardigan inside, fit my wallet and phone inside, and still plenty of space. This will not be my preferred choice if I need to carry heavier things like the water bottle. So here it is. This is like a 12 year old bag and I use this a ton. Still in amazing condition. The next item that I've got from Louis Vuitton is this key clay. This key clay has been featured in my video for so many times because this is what a lot of people have and what fits in my bag, this is a must-have to show. It's a very small item but it fits credit cards, it fits cash and there is this one here. I bought this in 2013. And the canvas really didn't fail me. I use this a ton as well. Which is why sometimes I've been thinking to get a canvas bag. This is a key clay I'm sure a lot of people are very familiar with. 
This is a credit card size, slightly bigger than a credit card. It fits in the credit card and some cash very easily. So when I have a small bag like this, I will just fit this in. You can see there's plenty space to spare and I put in a phone. Perfect. I love this two bits because it's so durable. This is a very neat item which I love it a lot. I bought this about 8 years ago and the price has went up probably 60-70%. And I just went into the website. Canvas versions are all out of stock. So they only have it in the leather version uh, in stock right now. I love this. I use this a lot. I think it's a... I have gotten the right item. The next item that I would like to talk about is this LV Favorite in MM size. So you can see, compare it to the other bag. In terms of breadth and height, they are pretty much similar. But in terms of weave, this has quite a bit of weave compared to this one. It's so skinny. I love this a lot. It's such an easy bag to carry and it's canvas, scratch resistance. It fits a pun. I love this to bits. So it's a very simple bag. In the front, you can see the plate. It says Louis, Louis Vuitton Paris. At the side, there is a plate here. On the back, you can see that there's an inner pocket, which the stitching is on the outside. This is the side. And on the inside, it's red inner lining, which is what the Damier Abin always have. I love the contrast. I really love the contrast. So beautiful in my opinion. And this is a very clever bag. It comes with two straps. You have the chain strap, which is pretty short, but it's okay to carry over the shoulder. And it comes with the long strap, not adjustable good for crossbody. So this has two ways to wear it. It's either you want to wear it over your shoulder with the chain strap or crossbody with this leather strap. The chain strap is not removable but I can actually remove it from here and put it at the side and you can use it as a clutch. I don't think it's much needed for it to be like this. It's pretty big to be used as a carry like a clutch like this. If I want to use it as a clutch, I will just carry it like this. And on the longer strap, I can detach it and put on another strap if I have something else that I like to use as. On the inside, it's one big space and of course there's a slip pocket here. Oh, this is a Louis Vuitton made in France. It is a very spacious bag. You can see that uh, a big phone fits in perfectly, easily. A key clay fits in with lots of room to spare. I love this favorite bag, but it seems that they have discontinued the canvas version and they came out with the leather version. I got no idea why, but I love, 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 love my canvas version. And I really like the contrast. Some people might say that canvas is not suitable for nights out, for evening. This plate here with the chain here, it helps to elevate the look a lot. So for nights out, sometimes I do use this because it's such an easy bag to use. Just grab and go and I don't need to downsize much. I can easily put in my full size wallet. I don't use long wallets but this can fit in long wallet plus your phone. No issue, just grab and go. Such a beautiful bag and I still love these two bits. So here, let's talk about the wear and tear of this bag. The wear and tear, there's no wear and tear on the exterior. The hardware are in immaculate condition as well. Except for this one, it's a scratch magnet because it's right in front. The only grip I have is, there is a line here you can see that seems to be uneven. It seems to happen in a lot of these flavored bags. There's a reinforcement inside the bag. So it ends right here, the line just appears right there. Other than that, I'm very happy with this bag. It's 
in very good condition. If you like my sharing so far, please support my channel, like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down Next, below. Let's talk about different dust bags I have collected over the years. So the first dust bag I have is this one that belongs to the brown epi leather bag. It is brown. It feels a little bit... Mm, it's a little bit furry. As you can see, there is a bit of peeling that appears on this dust bag. But it feels very soft, very luxurious. The second bag is for the Speedy. So this is the Speedy bag. This is a very hardy kind of feeling. This seems to be an excellent material kind of dust bag. Feels very luxurious. Feel very long lasting kind of dust bag. Very good quality. The next dust bag is from the LV Favorite. This one feels a lot lesser luxurious than the other dust bag. It feels a lot cheaper. You just feel like maybe fine linen kind of feeling, but it feels very thin. It doesn't feel as thick as this dust bag. It feels very flimsy compared to this one. This is a very, very thick dust bag. I bought this in 2017. I'm not too sure if the dust bag has deteriorated since then. But that's it for today. There's a small hiccup that happened in this video. My microphone ran out of battery and I have to refilm parts of this video. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy the video and see you next week. Bye!